Washington State has one of the most advanced tsunami warning systems in the world. This system, certainly if it was deployed anywhere, would be able to have the capability to save lives. Really the bottom line is to provide people with as much warning as possible so that they are aware that there's an impending disaster. The Washington State coastline is the region most threatened by tsunamis in the United States. It's a region known as the Ring of Fire, an area of intense earthquake and volcanic activity that rings the Pacific Ocean. There's a one in 10 chance uh, in any year that a tsunami could be generated in the Pacific region. Tsunamis are triggered by disruptions below water. And when the ocean floor is uplifted rapidly, that uplifts the water column just as rapidly, and then that uplifted water column collapses. And that collapse then becomes a very long period wave um, that people don't notice in the open ocean. But then when they come into shallower water, the wave slows down and all of that energy is conserved. And so the wave height grows. A wave that might have been only one or two feet high in the open ocean can grow in places to be 100 feet high. The Indian Ocean tsunami of 2004 sparked the Washington State Emergency Management Agency to implement the Hazard Broadcast Alert System, or AHAB. The automated warning process starts far out in the Pacific Ocean with buoys called dart buoys. These can predict tsunamis from thousands of miles away. For example, if a tsunami was generated in Japan, uh, these buoys would detect uh, its direction, its height, and uh, be able to help pinpoint with accuracy the location, for example, in Washington, uh, where it might strike. Tsunamis, when they're in the deep ocean, can travel up to 600 miles an hour, which is about as fast as an airplane. Once a dart buoy detects a tsunami, it transmits a satellite signal to the West Coast Alaska Tsunami Warning Center, which shoots a warning down to Seattle. That warning sets off a string of 39 sirens up and down the Washington coastline that sound like this. That warns residents to move inland or seek high it, ground. Once you click it, it's okay, and then, you can actually activate and then you can actually the activate sirens. the different sirens. The tsunami warning system was installed in 2004, and so far it's only been activated once. For Discovery News, I'm Casey D. Gardner.